How's it going everybody? Austin Carter here with the Tackline Leather. Today we have a really fun tutorial. We're going to take a prefabbed wooden beer caddy, throw some custom leather on there, and turn kind of a mundane object into a work of art. I hope you all stick around and enjoy this build. For this project you're going to need a wooden beer caddy. You can find them relatively cheap on Amazon, eBay, or in my case, TJ Maxx. If the beer caddy has a bottle opener, you're going to want to remove it for this build. Using some poster board, I made a template of the sides of the caddy, which in this case can be used for either side. For the leather I used on the decorative size, I'm using 5 to 6 ounce Herman Oak vegetable tan leather. Using a scratch awl, I transfer the template onto the leather. Next, I cut out the pieces of leather with a box cutter and get ready to begin tooling. First, I case my leather with water, and then using a stylus, I transfer my artwork onto one of the leather side pieces. I'm not going to go too far into depth about my tooling and uh, dyeing techniques, but if you want to see more, you can check out my other videos where I do a lot more of each. One thing I really like about this project is how easy it is. It doesn't require a whole lot of leather and the side panels can be as ornate or as simple as you want. This project would make a really great gift for birthdays, Father's Day, or maybe a groomsman gift.
Before moving on to stitching and attaching the side pieces, I apply a good layer of saddle lac. This will help protect from wear and tear and moisture. After letting everything dry, I lay down some stitch grooves and prep for stitching. Also, be sure not to forget to pull the tape off the back of your project. For this project, I'm using size 138 bonded nylon thread and using my Tipman boss to lay down the stitches. The stitches for this project are there for purely aesthetic purposes only, but you can do buck stitch or forgo this step altogether. After stitching, I then use a number two edger on the front side edges of both the pieces of leather. Because the leather will be laid flat, I don't feel like both sides need to be edged. I then move on to slicking the edges. First, I wet the edges with a dauber, then use a little bit of glycerin saddle soap to help lay down the fibers. I then use a piece of canvas to burnish the edges. Because the leather is a bit thin, because I'm only slicking one side, you can lay down the leather on the table and rub the edges smooth this way. After the edges have dried, I use a Q-tip dipped in Fibing's black dye to touch up the edges. This gives the piece a nice finished look. After the edges dry, it's time to assemble the new and improved beer caddy. I lay the side piece down and then trace lightly with a pencil so that I know where not to glue. Before gluing, use some sandpaper to rough up the wood. For this glue up, I'm using barge contact cement. I apply a liberal amount to both wood and leather panels, being careful not to go over my pencil marks. After the glue becomes tacky, apply the leather to the side of the caddy. Repeat these steps for the other side. To further secure the leather, and again give it more of an aesthetic look, I'm using some wood tacks I picked up from Hobby Lobby. As you tap them in, I would recommend using a mallet or a light hammer. I tried using a heavier hammer and accidentally broke a few tacks. To give the caddy an extra custom feel, I picked up this bottle opener at a local shop, but I'm sure you can find them easily on Amazon or any other big box hardware store. I screwed it in without any issues finishing off this project. I want to thank you all so much for the support. As I approach 4,000 subscribers, it just motivates me even more to bring new content to the channel. And if you don't mind, help me out and subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, you all have a nice day. Mm -hmm.